I am starving, starving. So it's time for some bone broth. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Welcome to a new vlog. Uh, I'm going to sip on some bone broth. I'm taking a break from work uh, because I'm hungry. I had a protein shake for breakfast, like right after my workout. It's like 10, 15, so I'm gonna take like a 15 minute break from work. I thought I'd start the new vlog as I make this bone broth. I am not gonna put it in a microwave. I'm just going to warm it on the stove really quickly. Ooh. Um, I don't know, make it feel like it's cooked, but I'm literally just about to have this entire thing of bone broth. I'm just going to sip on it while I'm working and I figured for lunch, I'll probably have a late lunch. So probably like mm, one o'clock, 1.30 or something, whenever I get hungry, um, then I'll have breakfast like technically what i would have had for breakfast which is the um toast and spinach and eggs girl but i'm hungry but i'm not like i'm not sure if i will uh do it like that in that order every day but i'm doing it in that order for today and i thought i'd show y'all so anyway i mentioned in my last vlog oh ooh, ooh, i probably shouldn't have cut it like that i'm so uh <laughs> extra but i mentioned in my last vlog <laughs> that i'm using the kettle fire bone broth this is beef and it's a low sodium one because when i did my order um my delivery order on whole foods they didn't have the regular one they only had this so i substituted out for the low sodium one also y'all will be happy to know that i finally put a new tripod in my Amazon card so y'all can stop talking to my torso and chin now did I press order I did not but eventually I will it's the thought that count I have a concept of a plan for buying a um a new tripod again this is the bone broth that I'm using so I'm just going to heat that through um and then we'll put a little sea salt in it and that's it I'm not gonna add any other like seasonings and I'm gonna sip on that I'm gonna sit, y'all sitting on my stove. So I have to like wait until I'm done because I don't wanna like burn, burn my little tabletop tripod. Um, Cut that on. Okay, we'll let that cook and I'll use the bathroom. Only got 15 minutes. I'm only giving myself 15 minutes. Um, and I need to get back to work. I'm trying to figure out how to make some charts, girl. That This is not my forte. Like I'm trying to get ready to do some KPI reporting and I need to like get the 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 the, the, the numbers into charts. And my coworker used to always do this, but she's no longer with us. And I'm just like, girl, I don't. This ain't my. This ain't my. I don't. <laughs> ah, this ain't my specialty, right? So now I gotta figure out how to do this on my own. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna use the bathroom and stuff, and I'll be back when the bone broth is finished. So I, we could do a taste test and see how we like it. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I got my big mug. Uh, I took a sip of that. Girl, it tastes like nothing. Very much nothing. Um, Which I don't know if it's a good thing. It is low sodium. So I don't know if that's actually a good thing. Um, I've had bone broth before that tastes like, it's, that tastes like stock, which is different, right? Um, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Well, I know is I'm about to put a little salt in here. Um, I did order the, uh, some Celtic salt because I saw somebody, I don't know what it's supposed to do, girl. I just ordered it. Um, oh, I actually want to do a TikTok, I mean an Instagram. Um, I ordered some Celtic salt. I don't know if that makes a difference. Maybe I should look it up. I just be ordering shit. But, uh, oh, phone in my face. But I can tell you right now, I'm about to put some salt in here because baby, please. Wait a minute, my phone dirty. Again, like I mentioned in last week vlog, I want y'all to exclude, excuse the extremeness. I just, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, gotta put me first, Lucius. Okay, gonna, I'm recording with my phone at the same time. Actually, let me use my um, camera because Instagram be doing this thing where it's like jumping, like in and out of focus, and it's so annoying. Hey, um, okay. Okay. 
Okay, that's all the salt I can do, y'all. I can't like over salt it. We don't need too much sodium. I need just a little bit of something because this don't taste like nothing. Hold on, it's too hot to drink out the cup. Let's taste together with the salt. Better. Still just tastes like a bone. But we gonna have to work with it. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. I got to get back to work and figure out how to turn these numbers into some charts. Good morning, happy, what's today? Wednesday, it's Wednesday. Having my morning cup of coffee. I'm gonna get ready to log into work in like 10 minutes. Um, but I figured I'll show y'all a couple things that I bought yesterday. I ended up going um, into a couple stores, just looking for some stuff um, to style for next week when I go to DC. Cause y'all know I'm going to Howard's homecoming. They're playing TSU. And so I, I feel like I've said this many times, a bunch of us are going down the first time the schools are playing each other they weren't i don't think they are in the same what do you call it uh bracket the fuck i don't know they, they they don't typically play each other and i think that this was something that either their regions changed i don't know or it was orchestrated between the universities to like bring more interest or whatever to the game girl i don't know i could be making that up either way they ain't never played each other before and we're playing them in their homecoming this year and they're playing us in our homecoming next year so tsu homecoming is actually this weekend but a lot of us are skipping and going to dc to watch tsu play howard for the first time so it'll be a good time anyway i um have plenty of stuff to like take but i needed like some filler pieces and just some stuff in my wardrobe anyway for the fall and just in general because some of this a lot of this stuff i can like transition into other seasons anyway so i picked up a couple things i went into nordstrom because i wanted to try on this pair of here i'll show y'all i wanted to try on this pair of pants from mango but um i don't feel like inserting it in Future me or not is not going to feel like inserting it in. So I'm just going to show y'all on my phone screen. So I wanted to pick up this pair of like straight leg. They're like a suede, leather suede pant um, from Mango. I went and tried them on um, and uh, they only go up to a 10 and they were too tight in the legs and the butt. Fit perfectly fine on the waist per the usual, but too tight on the leg and the butt because they have a lining in them because they're leather. So or suede, suede. <laughs> um, so anyway, I didn't end up getting them because they were uncomfortable around the thighs and the butt. Um, and then I also wanted to try on this shirt, but they didn't have it in store. So I ended up ordering it online and that'll be ready for pickup tomorrow. Hold on, let me find a shirt, here it is. So this polka dot, it's just a button up shirt but i love those big polka dots on it so i ordered that um as well and then when i was in the store i picked up a couple shirts from a brand called afrm it stands for a affirmation i looked it up because i'm like is it a firm like what is is or do i call it by the acronyms i don't know but it's a fairly affordable brand and i posted it on tiktok and a lot of people was like i actually really like that brand it fits nice on the body and i will say these fit really nice i did go with a large i just don't like my clothes super tight that's just me so i definitely have room in them but they still fit nice to the body so i just got a couple animal print tops this is just like a crew neck style top animal print wear a cute little black bra under it y'all know animal prints are neutrals so i got that and then i got another one but this one is a high neck like a turtleneck um so that's cute as well. I think I might wear this one this weekend. I have, have Paige's party to go to. I think I might wear this this weekend to Paige's party and then I'll try to style this one up for DC. Okay, I can throw this back away. And then I went to Cost. Girl, I finally got this skirt from Cost that I have been wanting forever. I'm trying not to like, this is the receipt. Um, I'm trying not to like, 
unbundle it too much because today they started their family and friends sale online for 25 percent off my thing is i wanted to shop in the stores because i did not want to order online and risk shipping i fly out next thursday which i guess the week is plenty of time but you just never know with delivery services some shit always happens and anytime i wait this late like a week out i don't even take the chance so i was like i need to go into some stores so i started looking online first and then i went into the stores to try to find the stuff that i saw online but this skirt i have been eyeing for um over a month now it's just like this wool blend skirt it buttons and then it has this button this little piece flaps over it's actually a part of the set but a set but i didn't want the um jacket so i ended up picking up this skirt because i was like girl you want the skirt get the skirt it was 190 dollars uh, which y'all don't really mind paying but I don't know. Cost is a mid-tier brand. Is $190 for a skirt mid-tier pricing? I guess that's right. I end up paying $209.55 after tax because Chicago tax is crazy. My tax was $19.48. I almost paid $20 in taxes. That's nuts. But um, I also saw this vest. I also tried this vest on y'all. Uh, and my issue was it was also $190. And I just was like... I paid $190 for that because I have it's a fairly unique skirt. I haven't really seen anything like that. But with the vest, I'm like, girl, I can find that vest um, or something close to it at Zara or at H&M for less. At Zara, at least $129. If it's at H&M, it'd be like $99. So I was like, maybe I'll go because I just love the style on me. So I was like, maybe I'll go into h&m or i'll go into zara and see if i can find something close because the problem is i tried it on and i was like i'm not buying this just off principle and then like i've been thinking about it since yesterday because i didn't get it and then i woke up this morning and i did my like um instagram stories and before like right before i cut this on and somebody was like just so you know their friends and family sale is starting um today online and so i went online and bought the vest like it don't look like it looks like it don't look like nothing on her like she's doing nothing for it but i do have a video of me that i'm again future me is going to be too lazy to <laughs> upload it here so i'll show y'all the video on my phone but i'm like it's not it's not doing her any justice um but so i ended up buying it online this morning because it was 25 percent off so i ended up getting it for 100 and fifty dollars right 151 dollars instead of 190 dollars which is still expensive but more of what i would expect to pay maybe like 140 honestly at cost um like i said maybe 129 at zara still overpriced but like we're talking about like what their prices tend to be right now and then maybe like 99 at h&m but i went ahead and paid the 150 for it um and i paid for the three to five day shipping in the hopes that it'll come because shipping was free but i was like let me go ahead and just pay the eight dollars for the shipping so i can try to get it before next week and maybe it'll make it into the styling for some of the stuff that i take with me um to dc but anyway this is okay the best i picked on up this vest god damn it I, the only thing i don't like is that it doesn't have a class to close unless i picked up a defective one but like why wouldn't it have a class to close but shouldn't have picked this up don't that look fire on me that looks fire on me that looks fire on me anyway you got to see a little bit of the skirt on as well so those are a few things that i picked up what i'm going to do when i go um because I'm, what i'm going to do tomorrow is i'm going to work outside of the house and i am going to um stopping costs and see if they'll price match like girl i know it's friends and family online and i know it's about to be friends and family in the store can i go ahead and get 25 percent off of that I, if they don't whatever but it don't hurt to try so on my lunch i am going to run over um so that means that wherever i work is going to be close my office is right there so i could actually just go into office into the office and then that way i can just leave all of my stuff comfortably run up to nordstrom i mean run up to cost on my lunch See if they'll price match it and then you know run back to the office and work or at least close to the office um we'll see but that shirt should be ready to pick up tomorrow too 
um which is why i said i'm just gonna work outside the house because it'll be easier for me to like zip zip on my way home after work um so yeah anyway and also i'm just trying to soak up some of this beautiful weather because i feel like after next week let's see what the weather is going to be tomorrow and then i gotta get off of here i gotta log into work the weather is going to be 68 tomorrow and sunny so starting next week like Sunday, low 60s. Every other day after that, in the 50s. So this is our last week. So I'm gonna be working outside the house tomorrow and Friday. I'm about to find me somewhere to park it, okay? Because please. Um. So yeah, that's that. I will keep y'all updated on that front. I gotta get to work. I gotta get to work because I got a checklist. I'm so. I'm just like I'm combing through my checklist i just i feel so good i feel so good i think it's because i'll be out from next wednesday through the rest of the week and i'm thinking about adding monday and tuesday on that too um we'll see we'll see because i might want to zip, zip zip to jersey <sighs> we'll see anyway okay i gotta go <laughs> reservation coming up next week and i was hoping to extend a day if you had availability but it wouldn't allow me to do it online Um, let me look it up. I'm sorry. I should have had that. Yes, yeah, it's 313. Yes, I just wanted to extend through Sunday night. So check out on Monday. Okay, perfect. Nope, that's it. I appreciate your help. Thank you. Have a good day. Damn. Bye to you too. <laughs> okay, it's lunchtime, and um, while I was working, I decided that I was going to extend my stay in DC for um, a day just so I can try to squeeze in um, a couple like lunches and dinners uh, with people if they're available um, that live in that area that I want to connect with. So I already have one. Um, and then I'm going to reach out to one other person to see if they are available. So that'll give me, I'm actually, I'm extending my flight to fly out of DC Monday evening. So I obviously put in another PTO day at work, but I won't leave DC until Monday at like 7 30 PM. Um, the flight is so short. So I'll get back to Chicago 8 30 our time, um, because they're an hour ahead of us. So, um, hopefully Sunday because my friends leave early Sunday so then I'll have all Sunday to like meet up with people hang out get brunch with somebody maybe get dinner with somebody and then maybe get breakfast or brunch with somebody um, or even lunch with somebody um, before I leave DC so yeah I just was like okay Angela let's just use this time while we're there to our advantage to make some connections to connect with some people that you have been you know connecting with online so just did that uh yeah okay now I'm excited I'm excited I'm excited girl anyway let me finish drinking <laughs> what was that I got the zoomies I got the zoomies anyway this is my bone broth I'm about almost finished with it um and I'm about to lay down for the rest of my lunch because I'm I need I need a little rest I'm working hard yes I'm working hard it's still Wednesday it's 7 47 I just got back in or just got in from my bar class like I literally shot out of here after work because I wanted to go to cost and exchange that like return that skirt and rebuy it for the sale price but i got up there and they were like oh it doesn't start in store until tomorrow so you have to wait till tomorrow so i have to go back which is fine because like i said this is the last warm week so i'm working outside the house tomorrow too so um i'll just work outside the house and then after work before i head home i'll stop and return the skirt and buy it for the sales price and also my order from Nordstrom supposed to be here tomorrow so I can pick that up too so two birds one stone let me cut this oven on I am starving I have got to make dinner I ubered home that's the only reason I didn't buy food plus because I left the house right after work and my uh workout class doesn't start until 6 30 I had some time before class so I stopped in um goddess in the grocer and girl I picked up some snacks I ate um like a little bar and like an energy drink before class but i also picked up this 
a grass made forty dollars in there. I picked up this um, cookie. It's cookie made from crackers with toffee, chocolate, and sea salt. I got these. Look at me telling something. I'm supposed to lose weight, but you know, either I'm gonna get some snacks that I can like eat, or I'm gonna just pig out because I have a sweet tooth. So I just picked up some snacks that I'll like, you know, eat in moderation. These are some cinnamon roasted almonds. And then I picked up, well, those are the only two snacks. I didn't get a lot of snacks. It's these drinks. I got this, it's called Needs and Wants Sparkling Super Fruit Tea. I'm about to put that in the freezer so I can drink that with dinner. And I got this Luna Bay Hard Kombucha. And it is grapefruit and jalapeno. Does that mean it has alcohol in it? Hard kombucha, brewed to a buzz. Yes, I'm not drinking that tonight, but that looked like that is good. So I bought that too. Girl, $40. Just imagine one more like drink and a little snack bar. $39 in I think like 53 cents. Crazy word. Anyway, I am... Oh, actually, let's taste it. Let me put this in the freezer real quick. Hold on. And then I'll put this in the refrigerator. I've actually never tasted either of these. I just, they look good. So I'm gonna taste it and then we're gonna put them in the cabinet. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. And then I, <laughs> what was that? And then I, um got an uber home because my leg is kind of bothering me i did sprints yesterday and then i did all that walking after work and i was zooming mm, it's good um and then i just did that class so my leg is very wet okay totally good Five simple ingredients, no artificial preservatives, naturally gluten-free, vegan, and no added oils. However, a serving size is one ounce, and this is four serving sizes, and it's 170, 70 calories, 70 calories per serving size. It's eight grams of sugar per serving size. Um, and then let's take these. Girl, this. this is what these look like. Oh, this is big. Okay. Oh, that's good right there. Oh, damn. Laura Schaeferman, she's the founder. You ate this one little thing, sis. Mmm. But really good. Um. A serving size is three cookies, so I already ate one. I can only have two after dinner. They are About four and a half serving sizes per bag. How many grams of sugar? 10 grams of sugar a serving. Mmm. Baby, that's fire. Oh, that's fire. Okay, anyway, let me make dinner. Sets up young women and girls to be deeply emotionally and spiritually unsatisfied to go without forging genuine communal bonds and connections, to not see themselves as individuals and people first who are deserving of genuine partnership. Like, it's just very insidious. Good morning, happy Thursday. I am just rinsing the dishes that are in the sink from last night. I know people don't like to go to sleep with dishes in the sink. I'm the opposite. I will knock out and then get up in the morning. I can't go about my day with dishes in the sink. 
dishes from yesterday and then I'll um refill that bitch up doing it. Um and I just like rinse them. Well I always rinse them when I put them in the in the sink. So like before I put my dishes in the sink, I usually rinse or leave them in the sink. I usually rinse all the food off of them. But I re-rinse them again just in case before I put them in the dishwasher. So it's not like food sitting in my sink, but it is dishes in my sink. Like you know what I'm saying? Anyway, it's Thursday morning. I just got back up from the gym. Um I am, like I said, cleaning out these dishes. I'm gonna make me a protein shake and then oh, excuse me. I'm going to take a shower and then work until um, lunch. And then on lunch, I am going to go to a coffee shop. Please. I'm going to go to a coffee shop and work for the rest of the day. I think I have mentioned this like three times in this vlog that this week is like week three of like the most perfect fucking weather. I'm talking about like high 60s at this point. Well, yeah, high 60s at this point. Um, low 70s. But it get cold once that sun starts setting because I was out last night. That's why I called an Uber home last night from the gym. One, because it was cold. And two, because I had walked so much. Because right after work, like I said, I walked up to um, Cost. And then I walked from Cost to my workout class. Which girl, I was booking like beating feet. I did all that in like an hour and a half, which is nuts. Um, but anyway, my, my legs were tired. And then I went and did a workout class, girl. I was not walking home. But also, it was chilly and I only had on a long sleeve shirt. So, this good weather is wrapping up, child. And basically, what I did is I structure my work like the the what my work that i'm doing like to be just little not necessarily admin work but like work that doesn't require me to be recording or using a microphone or don't need my screens and stuff like that so i'm doing some technical writing on an sop um right now and a couple other little things like that that don't really require me to um, need my two screens. And so when I'm doing work like that, that's the perfect time for me to, you know, take my talents out. I usually like hook up to my hotspot. I be scared to hook up to like local, um, the hotspot on my phone because it's my internet. I be scared to hook up to like the local internet, like the free internet from whatever place I'm at because girl, I be on my work computer. Even though I'm on, you know, protection for work, like security protection, but still, I just, I don't, mm -mm, girl, I be on my hotspot on my phone. Um, so yeah, I just feel like chit-chatting this morning. Um, after work, I am going to ex return that skirt and rebody for the sales price. And then hopefully, by that time, my the top that I ordered from Mango will be ready to uh, pick up from Nordstrom so I can do a swoop and a swoop, and then I can come on home. I do need a couple like long sleeves, like white shirts. I may stop in Uniqlo, like on my walk home and see what they got, because I'm like, I don't have no long sleeve, like just tees, and y'all know I'm very much a t-shirt girl. And all of my t-shirts are short sleeve, and I want a couple long sleeve ones. Um, and y'all know I love Uniqlo. We'll see what cost has. I don't think I looked at their long sleeve tops since they got 25% off too. Um, so I'll look in there too. But anyway, that's my plan for this Thursday. And tomorrow's gonna be a nice day too, but I can't um, work outside the house tomorrow because I have my annual review with my boss. So I need to be at home where I can speak freely. Um, and then I have another meeting for some other work that I need to do. So I need to be able to pop my shit openly. So yeah, anyway, happy Thursday. I am going to make this protein shake. Ooh, I gotta wash this, this.
Um, I made some salmon last night and that shit stink. Um, yeah, anyway. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a, <laughs> girl, why is my face up here? I'm gonna get a tripod, I swear to God, cause I know y'all sick of talking to my torso. Happy Friday. <laughs> yeah, my apartment is a mess. My hair is a mess. Everything is a mess. I just, hold on, I got a little more water. Before I do anything, like work, I need to straighten up. But honestly, oh, my eyes crusty. I don't feel like it. Um, I need to kind of straighten up though, like a little bit. Like, look, I don't know if y'all can see the wreckage, but it's a mess in here. Maybe I should watch TV, and that'll motivate me. Where's my remote? Remote. Let's watch some YouTube, shall we? I think Aaliyah's face got a new uh, vlog. I watched Kyra's the other day on the Stairmaster. I love the young girls, okay? I love the young kids. I think a real album come out today, but. Hi there. Um, I'm Sierra, a designer on the women's team here at Fiore. What was I today saying? I'm going to tell you all the feels lagging. What did I skip? I was saying, I think Glorilla's album come out today, but I'm gonna wait until my workout tomorrow to listen to it. Contours to your body for a very narrow Girl, these long ass commercials. We really wanted to create something that honors the nature of the fabric. It's Friday. I don't got nothing to do this weekend. I don't plan on doing anything. Girl, nobody give a fuck. Nobody's buying this shit. Please. I finally returned this skirt and then rebought it for the discounted price so I can take it out of this bag. I end up saving $50. Okay? I need all my coins to look at the skirt again. I already showed it to y'all, but here she is. $50 cheaper. Love it. So today is my rest day from the gym, so I'm switching my breakfast up. I'm going to eat a breakfast sandwich instead of just like a protein shake first thing after the gym. And I'm so excited about it. Y'all know I love me some Udi's. So I just put a few pieces of the, yes, I said a few, girl. I'm a grown woman. Look how little these little pieces of bread are. So I put like a few pieces. I even eat the booty breads. Sure do. That bread expensive. You better eat them booties. I'm too childish for this. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, a few pieces of bread I'm just gonna put in the oven. And I used to just have them with a little butter on them. My eggs, and then some spinach and cheese for the eggs. That's what we, oh, we need something to cook the eggs in. Little pad of, oh, okay. It's 
so funny. A real keeping this new man so close to her chest, baby. You might as well call it a boo. Y'all help us. I never seen another man the way y'all put up with that last one. There toward the end. I don't know what happened because as long as she was like discussing or alluding to that last man, I felt like people was on their best behavior. I don't know what happened towards the end of that relationship that people start cutting up like that. But Aaliyah said, I got some for y'all. Never again. I'm gonna make me some espresso. I'll holler at y'all when the breakfast is done, okay? Breakfast is, oh, let me cut my coffee off. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> breakfast is served. That butter, I do not need all that butter, but I'm gonna eat it. Yummy. I am so scared of animals. Like, I don't know if that would, I'm, I'm, I'll try anything once, but if I go and I'm like scared the whole time, I would never do something like that again. But I'm love. I don't usually like travel vlogs if I'm being honest. Um, but I'm enjoying this one anyway. Breakfast, three pieces of toast, and I think three eggs. And then look at this cute ass espresso cup and saucer I got from Bloomingdale's yesterday. Ain't that cute? I bought two. It says little brown mug. I bought a set. So it's another one back there on my like TV stand. They were on sale. They're having a sale at Bloomingdale's. They were just $9. Like the set was $9. The soft shirt and the little cup was $9. So I bought two. I got two little cute little espresso cups for less than $20. The little things. Anyway. I'm going to eat this. It was not only and then I got like, like intense, it was very steep. 25 minutes to but it was really cool brush my teeth, wash my face, villages, like, and get ready for work. So I gotta leave y'all. It was fun spending the morning with y'all though. My, my cost package got here. That came so quick. I also ordered another bundle of hair. Um, y'all know I just, I'm gonna reuse this. Um, but I be nervous. I be worried. I like, I just be needing an extra bundle of hair. And I didn't have an extra bundle of this hair because this was my first time trying this hair with this install. This was a Karen's Boutique. I have zero complaints. When I say no shedding, like, I mean, no, look, you know, it's hair. So, like, normal shedding. But, like, I've washed it twice myself since I got it installed. It'll be two months. The day I go get it done, it'll be one day off of like two months. Like, no complaints at all on this hair. Um, so I just bought another 22 inch. The hair at the bottom is 24. And I bought just another 22 inch um, to go like in the middle or like at the top if he needs it. Uh, my appointment is Wednesday. So I'm probably gonna take this out Sunday. Yeah, probably. I am gonna take it out Sunday and then wash it. He probably gonna have to rewash it when I go to, um, the appointment because I ain't really good at washing hair anyway it's down there somewhere I didn't feel like looking for it so I'll let them like send me a message when they didn't put it in a like nice little cubby that I can go just grab out of because there's so many packages down there I got this little fall travel magazine from Chase they're highlighting their new uh hold on I gotta hide my address they're highlighting their new lounge in LaGuardia. They're finally starting to open more lounges in the US, which I'm happy about. Um, but I never fly into LaGuardia when I go, well, when I go to New York, I do, but when I go to Jersey, I always fly into Newark. Um, but with the Chase car, you have access to other lounges as well. I just be having to look them up and it's always like a random lounge, like the one in O'Hare is like the Turkish, it's like a, par a partner lounge. It's like the Turkish something something lounge, but it's it's always all the way on the other side of the goddamn airport. And I don't ever get there that early to be walking that far around the airport to get to the lounge. Um, so I haven't gotten to like go in. So yeah, I'm tired, I'm tired. I've been, um yawning all day oh this is uh they're highlighting a trip to rome i like this oh and then here's one for rio 
it gives you sort of like a, a, a traveling itinerary this is cool I wish they had something in here for Barcelona I still haven't started um, planning that trip but I'm gonna start for real this this weekend I need to get some um, train tickets because I'm gonna visit a couple other places while I'm there girl I start flipping through this book I will let's open this vest oh, excuse me damn I need to get off the back of this couch Hold on. My little, wait, that's why I slide over the place. My little, um, stopper things ain't even, it done move. I need to put a new one under here. Hold on, y'all. Oh, my butt ain't in y'all face. Is it in y'all face? Oh, it ain't in y'all face. The little, um, things you put under your couch to make it not move. It had done slid from under there. No wonder I'm sliding all over the place. Anyway. Let's get her open. Let's try double package. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. This is the vest off body. Let me put it on. Yeah. Yeah. And it it's oversized, so you don't need to size up to get this look. This is my true to size, it's a size eight. <laughs> Somebody in my comments on TikTok was like, maybe size down. I'm like, girl, why not size down? That is the like style of the freaking vest. It's cute, I like it a lot. I'm glad I went ahead and got it. I wasn't gonna pay 194 for it though. They was gonna have to put it on sale for me to get this. I feel like I could even, no, nah, it's kind of too short. I was gonna say, um, I need to, let me undo these little things in the back. Okay, there we go. Listen, when y'all get suiting and coats and blazers and stuff like that, those are called vents. When they're stitched together, you're supposed to cut those stitches. And I know y'all know, cause y'all some sophisticated ladies and gentlemen. But people be walking around with their damn blazers and stuff stitched together in the back and I be wanting to snatch it loose so bad. Anyway. This is the vest on. I like her. I like her. I was saying, if it had a button on it, I could possibly wear this like a little oversized dress, but I think I'm being overzealous because the minute I put on heels and then it has the vent, it'll go whoop. <laughs> anyway, cute, cute. She's giving what she's supposed to give. As y'all saw, I just came back from a little errand. I grabbed a glass of wine, I mean a bottle of wine. Well, I went to grab a bottle of wine. Hold on, let me sit down. Take this phone in my pocket and this cardigan off because it's spicy. Anyway, I went to grab a bottle of wine um, because I'm going to my girl Paige's event tomorrow and it's like a wine roulette. I've been to one before, so y'all have heard me talk about it, but basically it's like a party with like music, food, like different like local restaurants and stuff in Chicago that she curates. Um, it was so much food the last time I was by the end of it. I was like, I don't want nothing else. They kept bringing stuff around, like I'm full. Uh, but then everybody brings a bottle of wine and that's sort of, that's the bar situation. So it's wine roulette. So everybody bring their five favorite wine and you get to try all of the different wines out there. It was so much fucking wine. Um, with everybody just bringing like one bottle of wine. So I just love the concept of the idea. So anytime she has it, I'm going to be there. And it's a great, um, price. I think it was $55. You get 
as much food as long as it lasts and it was a lot of food like i said i was like i don't want any more by the time they got to bringing out dessert i was like i don't want any um and it was a lot of wine like we didn't run out like i had too many glasses honestly um uh, and then the dj was smacking so anytime she has an event i'm going so i went to pick up this wine um that wine shop that i showed before this i love that wine shop it's in my neighborhood i like going over there because you can get glasses of wine that little prosciutto grilled cheese is really good i usually get they have like these cheesy pretzel bites too but i just got um the prosciutto grilled cheese and um, I just got a glass of wine and then I stopped in Toto's because I wanted to get a bag of these sweet onion deep river chips. They are so fire. But then I also saw this bag of um, pork rinds, um, like hot and spicy. And I love pork rinds. But actually, they're fairly like a good snack when you're trying to like drop some pounds. So that's also why I got those. But anyway, back to this wine. It's a red blend. It's out of Mallorca. Um, and I had it the last time and it's a really good like if you are a person that wants to get into red wine But you don't like you feel like a cab um, Or a Malbec or even sometimes a Pinot is like a little too strong or whatever You know some of them are a little too dry a blend is a really good way to go And this blend is like super mild like it's not like really you know how sometimes red wine can be peppery Which I like like I like it to burn like burn my chest like I like it but like if you're the type of person that doesn't like red wine because you feel like it's too peppery it's too spicy or something that is actually a good this is a good a good wine to get because it's super mild and fruity it's not like spicy at all so anyway I'm about to sit here and eat my chip find me something to watch on Netflix or something and then just chill out for the rest of the night um and then tomorrow Saturday morning I'm gonna get up do a good workout and then um, just chill for the rest of the day. The event doesn't start until seven, so I'm just going to chill out. Maybe I'll have the motivation to clean up this apartment because it is. I need to spray, wipe, mop, sweep. I need to do all the things, uh, but I just am not motivated to do so. Also, my shirt that I ordered to pick up from Nordstrom was supposed to be here yesterday and ready to pick up, child. They still ain't sent me a message about that top, so. Maybe that'll be available for pickup tomorrow and I'll go get that. But either way, that's all we got going on on Friday night. I told y'all I can't really be going nowhere because I'm traveling next week and anytime I leave the house, I spend money. Um, I think I just spent $70 at the tip. The tip was like $11. So my tab was like $60 or something like that. But I will say I got a good deal on this because this is a $60 bottle of wine. I guess I should have said that $60. But if you order a bottle of wine to go from the bar that they have on the menu, because it's a wine shop. So they have all types of wine, right? That you can buy from the shelves. I think I showed like a little clip of the shelves, but they also have a menu that you can order by the glass or by the bottle. If you order a bottle that's on that menu from the bar to go, it's half off. So I got it for $30. So I ended up spending Seventy dollars, which would have just been the price of the bottle of wine anyway. So, you know, Angela math. Anywho, uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. <laughs> This is that jacket, that leather jacket that I bought. Just threw it on over the dress. I'm gonna carry my acne, acne masubi. I haven't put anything in it. And then y'all also saw the outfit with the shoes. It's a little crooked, but this is the look. I think it's cute, super casual, appropriate for the night. And then this is the makeup. This is that lip combo I was talking about when I was feeling my OOTD. It's literally, literally my favorite new lip combo just in general but especially um hold on let me put my purse down especially in the fall did i forget did i stop filming yeah I did. um especially in the fall because it's a little darker uh so it's this sephora number six new lipstick this saint laurent um candy glaze in number 15 um lancome juicy tube and then chestnut liner from mac it's a lot of shit but I mean, it eats. It, it looks so good. 
anyway okay let me finish getting ready oh lighting let me finish getting ready so i can call me an uber because i'm getting better at making sure that i'm fueled yep. in the morning i'll just make sure i have my phone my inhaler i always have chopstick i think these cups always look so dusty i don't know i wash them hand wash them i be hand washing them and they still dirty uh, not dirty but like dusty anyway good morning good morning it is 6 21 on a sunday morning and i'm up because here's why here is why right one once i have a goal i'm super set on that thing so y'all know i'm in the middle of trying to drop some of this weight i gained while i was training for that marathon and i was hurt so i need to do that then I wanted to try, which I feel like I'm going to miss, and I'm going to have to walk down some um, or try to catch her, her, like, on the way back. But my one of my um, really good associates here is running the Chicago Marathon today, and she was her and my friend Kendra, of course. But um, she came to see me, right? And my other friends would have came, like, came to cheer me out, like, came and cheered me out at the marathon. And my other friends would have came too, but like I was, <laughs> here's the thing. My, even my friend Julia, who is, I like refer to her all the time on here. Like she's one of my longest, bestest childhood friends. <laughs> she was like, bitch, why you didn't tell us it was race day? So we could have came and like cheered you on. But y'all know I was hurt and I was embarrassed about being hurt. And I just, I didn't know if I was going to make it. And I honestly did not want to invite my friends because I was like, I don't know if I want to make it. And I am really bad about that. Like, I'm really bad about that. Like, you know, I will have a, like a big accomplishment or something and not even about my, my grad school graduation. Didn't invite nobody. Didn't even tell nobody I was graduating. Only person that was at my graduation was my boyfriend at the time grad school like but also my family pissed me off at my undergrad graduation we got into this whole it was this whole ordeal and i just but even still i didn't even tell them i was graduating his mom didn't even know my graduation was coming up until like the week of my graduation baby she was trying to buy a plane ticket to get there i'm like girl no you don't have to come um but i'm so past not letting people show up for me and i feel bad when my friend said that when uh, my friend was like girl it doesn't matter you could have fell out on mile too the point is that you like was doing it and we would have been there celebrating regardless of what the outcome was i felt bad and i won't do that no more like you know what i'm saying girl you was 40 years old you are not in your 20s you shouldn't still be like acting like that anyway i want to show some reciprocity because i really appreciate it and they were at that halfway mark too when i had to turn around and do that 7.05 miles six six and a half six and a half miles whatever it was halfway it gave me a little boost that i need so i want to try to i downloaded that marathon app so i'm gonna be following her run all the way along the way even if i have to walk up to the finish line i'll walk up to the finish line um, and catch her there because I'm gonna miss the start because it's 624. I need to do 45 minutes on this stairmaster. <laughs> I can't believe it, Jesus. I can't believe it, Jesus. I I hate this stairmaster. So that's why I'm having me some um pre-workout, baby, because I ain't gonna make it. Rockstar lifestyle is not gonna make it. Y'all saw I went out yesterday. My hair still looks so cute. It would be like looking good on the day I gotta take it out. I have to take my hair down too today because my hair appointment is on Wednesday. So I need to take this out. I like I said, I'm gonna attempt to wash this hair, but I'm probably gonna be like, uh, sir, you need to wash that again. Cause he washes the new bundles too. Like when you take them before he puts them in, he washes them or whatever. Um So I'm like, can you get him? Can you get at my old bundles of another wash too? Cause I know I ain't. I know I know they probably ain't washed the way that they need to be washed. Um, I swear I stared that up. Where'd my spoon go? So I'ma um do my workout. And then I'll see where she is. Because she'll already be in the very beginning of the race. 
and then I'm gonna try to map out where I can like catch her. I'm gonna wait to order my groceries because everything shut down in the city for real. Until like as far as car wise. Um well I guess not over here where I'm at, but it's cars like find being able to get over here to like pick up the order. I'll order groceries in the morning basically. I don't want to buy a whole bunch of actually I might just walk to get groceries after my workout because I don't need to buy a lot of groceries. I leave here Wednesday. I don't get back until Monday night. I don't get back here until Monday at 8 30 p.m. So you don't even It don't even make sense to really go grocery shopping, but I need some. I don't even think I got enough eggs to make it through Wednesday. Yeah. I need to get some more um, bone broth because I think I got one left. That's been really helping, by the way. Like I have, been, I've had a really good eating week. Um, so yeah, now I'm just chatting. I need to finish drinking this. Girl, my hair is so dry. Like, that's gray hair, but that's also dry skin. Y'all know I got scalp psoriasis. If I scratch my head, if I do this right, I'm not going to do it because I just cleaned my... I did get enough strength yesterday to, to wipe down all my counters. My stove, even though I cooked right after I wiped down my stove, now it's little stuff all over. That's why I be want to cook. I don't be want to cook because I don't want my stove to be dirty. Now it got little spots on it again. So I'm going to have to wipe it down again. Mm. But I did get the strength of the Black Panther to wipe out my cabinets. I, I mean, my counters. I moved everything off the counter, everything off my work desk, my um, dining table, wiped everything down. Now, did I make it over to that bed to make it up and pull them sheets off because they need to get washed? No, but I will do that today. I'll throw them in the washer once I go out to try to catch my friend on the run. Um, so, let me get my life together because I think what I'm going to do is walk to Trader Joe's once they open and just grab some little stuff. Um I need to get some coffee for my um my Chemex anyway. So yeah. Happy Sunday. I'm so excited. I can't remember the last time I'm I'm excited to have some time off is what I was saying. When was the last time I was off y'all? When I went to where was the last place I traveled to when I went to London? That was the last time I had like some extended time off. Um, and that was in July and it's October. I deserve, I deserve, I deserve. <laughs> so I've seen a couple of videos come down my For You page um, over the past week from young black women. I'm assuming younger than I am. Right, um, but they were asking the question of why is it so difficult to work under um, older black women? Was probably a couple years older than I am now, so she was maybe like 42 and I was 24, 20, and she was the worst. She constantly critiqued everything that she could critique about me. Like she couldn't critique my work because I was I was busting them busting them metrics down. Busting them down, right? But everything I wore was too tight or, you know, it just every little thing was like a critique, a nitpick. There was never a time where she was offering any like feedback or encouragement or suggestions, anything of value. I straight up asked her why she didn't like me. Um, and she kind of was like taken aback and then wanted to know why I assumed that or why I was asking her that question respectfully. I'm nothing like you. Like the way that you treat the young black women in this office, I'm nothing like that. I don't really have- <laughs> It's actually insane down here. I came um, to cheer my friend on. I did get a video of her. My nail like was in the damn video. But I came down, uh, she's at the finish line, so she should be done now um, to see her finish off. Uh, this is the friend I was telling y'all came to um, my half marathon to cheer me on, so I just wanted to come and make sure that I show her some love. This is actually her second time doing this. Oh, I'm gonna take one. Thank you. 
um, got me a free drink. Anyway, I am right by Trader Joe's, so I'm just gonna stop in Trader Joe's, kill two birds with one song. Congratulations, Janice. And then she get married in like five days. So she is just having a week, baby. That's the type of week I'm talking about. Okay, I gotta get out of this chaos. It's people as far as your eye can see. It's so many people out here, oh my God. Happy Monday. I actually, I actually, <laughs> I actually look crazy. It's Monday. I, I'm on lunch. I just ran to do a Target pickup. I always tell them, girl, don't put it in the bag. I'll bring my own bag. Y'all want a little Target haul? This is the most boringest Target haul ever. And um, I wanted to see if they had some of my favorite house shoes in there because mine are gross. And I wanted to like replace them. It's these stars above one. They didn't have none. Girl, I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna need them to bring them back. Anyway, got some extra gloves. Y'all know I have to dye my hair every three business weeks. <laughs> so I got some extra gloves. Toothpaste, this is my favorite kind, the Optic White um, Advanced. And I always get this three pack because they are kind of small. Um, and then I am using right now this Crest 3D White mouthwash. I ran out of two pairs of my mouthwash at the same time. That never happens. I don't know. That did something to my spirit. Um, they stopped making or either Target stopped selling the mouthwash that matches my Colgate. So I started using this Crest 3D White. I like the way it tastes. I have to like the way, um mouthwash taste uh i bought some new toothbrush heads because i use the oral b click and i just buy like the replaceables and two come in the pack and i think i used my last one it's about time to replace my toothbrush head some floss picks because i ran out target brand and then some all-purpose cleaner i like this ever spring all-purpose cleaner um I ran out the other day when I was cleaning my counters and stuff. So I got some of that. And then I got a hair dye because I was supposed to take this hair out yesterday. I got tired because I was on live and then I had to make some food. And then it was nine o'clock and I was like, I'm not gonna take this hair down. So I'm gonna actually take it down today after work. And um, I'll probably wait until tomorrow to put a rinse on it. But I bought a rinse, I mean, put a dye on it. This is a permanent dye. Put an eye on it, and that is my Target haul. And I spent the grand total of $62.21. The most expensive thing is that toothpaste. The three pack of toothpaste was $16.19. And then the two brush heads was and then the hair dye was $9.59. I mean, it was $9.99, the two brush heads. And then the hair dye was $9.59. And then the floss picks were $5.89. Shit is expensive. Shit is expensive. Anyway, that's my Target haul. Um, I had to call Nordstrom today and be like, where's my top? I ordered a top. Y'all said it was going to be delivered to the store on thir last Thursday. And I had it delivered to the store just in case I needed to like look around and grab some other stuff. I haven't even thought about what I'm going to pack. So I guess I'll look at what I'm packing possibly tonight and see if there's some other stuff that I need to get. So I was like, if there's some other stuff that I need to get, then I'll like pick it up from the store. Um... But it was supposed to be delivered Thursday and it didn't happen. And I just was like, whatever. It is now Monday. There is no update on the tracking for the. I could have had the shit delivered to my house if y'all was going to take all this time. So I called Nordstrom. I'm like, what the fuck is my package, yo? Y'all like, told me it was going to be delivered to the store on Thursday. People order stuff based on delivery times. If that was the case, I would have just had it delivered to my fucking house. Y'all are wasting my time. Oh, USPS is showing that it'll be delivered to the store on tomorrow. I'm like, I ought to be petty and come to the store and return that bitch. Just off the strength of don't play in my face. Anyway, I don't know why I just went on that tangent about a $50 shirt. But it's just the principle. It's just the principle. Anyway. <laughs> I'm about to, I was sipping on some bone broth at my desk. And I don't know where it is in this apartment, but I'm gonna find it. 
and I'll probably finish sipping on that um because I'm not that hungry yeah anyway talk to y'all later I'll probably wrap the vlog up tomorrow because I like to get them up on Wednesday today's Monday so maybe the shirt will come and y'all will get to see some of the DC outfits like come together I don't know anyway we'll figure it out good morning happy Tuesday it's six o'clock look at my oven these are clean dishes <laughs> Because, because, mm -hmm. I had to wash this last night. I don't know if he going to need to rewash it when I get it done tomorrow, but I did my due diligence. So I had to like wash all the dishes that was in my sink and just have them sitting here. <sighs> Not in the gym this morning because we got to get this popping. Got to get this popping. Ooh, I'm scared. <laughs> Uh, or is it jump scare? Ooh, jump scare. Or ooh, I'm scared. What? Anyway, don't judge me. Or you are anti black. These are my ancient memories. I took my hair down yesterday after work. After work. I was so tired. It's, it didn't take me that long, but it's just the effort. And I know last time I had my hair done, I said, I'm going to start booking takedown service. But I did not. Oh, that's still too hot to drink. Some espresso. I'm trying to wake up. Anyway, so um, no workout in the gym this morning because I switched my bar class to tonight since I get my hair done tomorrow. Um, and I did not want to work out on my fresh install. So I'm going to go. So excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, that was gross. That was like a gross stretch. So I'm going to go to bar tonight. Same time, same place. Um, <laughs> same time, same place. Um, and then tomorrow morning, uh, I'm going to get my sprint in. Because I did sprints last week. It felt so good to be able to do sprints in. <laughs> Let me not stick my tongue out. Because I didn't brush my teeth. I don't know. I mean, I brushed it before I went to sleep. But I don't know. Something happens between the sleep and the wake up. I was about to go on the rain about taking a bath. You know how people like take showers at night. Let me mind my business. Listen, I sweat in my sleep. I sweat in my sleep. So like taking a shower at night and then getting up and not hitting my ass with water again in the morning. Just it's ass and armpits. It's not an option. I take a shower in the morning too. And I, you know, I'm not trying to start the clean Olympics. I just have to. If my ass cheeks are closed for eight hours, while I'm asleep, that mean they've been closed too long and they need to be spread apart and washed again. I, just, I don't get how y'all do it. Not in my my um African American house. Rosalie was not playing those games. Anyway, what was I going? Oh, I am going to. <laughs> I can't believe I'm sitting over there like, talking shit with my hair looking like this. Um, I'm going to bar tonight. Um, same time, same place. And then in the morning, I'm gonna get up and. Run my sprints. Girl, what the fuck? Um, hold on. I'm going to get up in the morning, run my sprints, do a little bit of a leg workout, not too much. And then that's my last workout for a week. So I want to get two good workouts in the next couple days. Um, and then I I had to get up still at six. I didn't get up at four because I know I normally get up at four, baby. I had to snooze like a bitch on at um four o'clock alarm, but I still got up at six so I can go ahead and put my dye in my head now because I don't have no time to play today at work. I need to get a lot of stuff done, or if I don't get it done, I need to get it like set in motion to be done. So when I come back next tuesday i'm in a good spot i'm not trying to be fucking all over the place when i get back i'm on a, a roll of like being really good um like you know what i'm saying like being on my shit scratching stuff off my to-do list and i don't want to like mess up that streak because i'm going out of town and i'm focusing on everything else so anyway i'm about to dye my hair 
I'm about to dye my hair. I need to, I've been looking at hotels for Barcelona. I need a hotel for Barcelona. So I'm gonna do Barcelona. I get to Barcelona on the 26th of December. Uh, 27th of December. I fly out of Chicago on the 26th that night. So I get there and I think I got a layover in Heathrow. I hate Heathrow. Not because it's like a tear board. It's just so big. And I, ugh, my God. It stressed me the fuck out when I was in there. Because they don't, didn't give us our gate until 10 minutes before it was time to get on the plane. And Heathrow is big and it was all the way on the other side. Me and my friend was running like some goddamn idiots trying to figure out where our gate was. Anyway, um, I have a layover in Heathrow, so I won't get to Barcelona until the tw oops, until the twenty seventh, like afternoon, evening. So like four p.m. on the twenty seventh, which is fine. I like to fly overnight. Um, I found internationally because it didn't stop jet lag because I was tired as hell. Um, the first day in London, but I probably would have been more tired if I didn't. So anyway, um, I was saying all that because I was like looking at hotels. Um, hotels are so expensive. I was looking at hotels um, last night. I think I definitely have narrowed down where I'm staying. What? I think I've definitely narrowed down where I'm staying in. Um, I know where I'm staying in Madrid. I think I never down where I'm staying in Barcelona. I just need to figure out if Seville is going to happen. I mean, I do plan on going back to Spain because I'm going to go to Mallorca. So I could do Seville, Mallorca the next time and not stretch myself too thin, but we'll see. I just feel like I can squeeze a third place in there. So I might do that. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to sip on this. I'm going to dye my hair and I am actually going to end this vlog. And then I'll start it, um, actually, let's wait until after my hair is dyed and I look like something. And I'm not going to look like that, but I won't look like this. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Let me get, let me get my hair situated. Dye in my head. I actually need to pull that dryer down and sit under it, but I, I don't feel like doing all that. So that means I'm going to leave it in for an extra little some sum to let it cook because I'm too lazy to sit um, under the dryer. And I ran out of like plastic shower caps. So I usually... <laughs> literally used my um shower cap but it was time to switch it out anyway so I'll just I have these I just don't have like the plastic ones um while I was doing my hair I was thinking I was like I might as well just run this vlog through tomorrow when I get my hair done and we'll just end it there um hopefully my shirt is delivered to Nordstrom today so I'm gonna pick it up um and so then I'll start I can start like putting together pieces not necessarily putting together outfits because I think we had this conversation when I came back from London where I was like, I'm just, and I was talking about this on my live on TikTok the other day where it's just like, people were like, oh, we can't wait to see the fits. And I'm like, I'm not, a, I don't, I'm very much out of the, I got to throw a fit. I got to have like, you know, I got to buy an outfit. I got to have something to post to like, wow, girl, I'm too old. I do not care. I'm going to put a bunch of stuff in the, the um, suitcase that I would like to wear and we could do that together and then I'll put together outfits with the stuff that I take and so that is like my approach to getting dressed just in general now but um on trips too I need to clean my ears it ain't that bad um but on trips too so um y'all gonna get what y'all gonna get but when you when you a fly girl as as my one of my favorite people on TikTok her name is Piper like She's not even, I wouldn't necessarily say she's a creator, like a, like a, um, TikToker or whatever. She's just a fly girl from DC that live in New York. And I end up following her because she works in comm and communications or whatever. And a lot of the times you don't see comms girls that work outside of like fashion. Um, but she works in the industry, but like not as like a ex- uh, beauty editor or whatever the case may be like she's worked in comms like you know internal comms external comms for like fucking uh what was Pharrell's brand and you know um uh what's Jay-Z's um 
what is Live Nation and like stuff like that. So anyway, I ended up following her because of that and she ended up just being the flyest, the flyest of the flyest. So anyway, um, she, her like tagline when she does her TikToks is like, fly girls, get in here. Anyway, I was saying all that to say, I'm a fly girl anyway. So like the fits are going to fit regardless. So it is what it is. Anyway, so I'm letting my hair cook. I'm hungry. But I'll probably make a protein shake afterwards. I did buy an extra bundle of hair. It's back there. Hold on, I'll show y'all. I did buy. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is just the bag um, from the last time to put the hair that I washed in the bag. Like I say, I don't know if he's gonna rewash it because I'm not quite sure I got all the conditioner out of there, girl. I was getting frustrated. So I'll let him know and he can decide what he's gonna do when I get to the um, shop tomorrow. But I did buy a second, I mean, just the extra. Did I show y'all this? I think I might have showed y'all this. Um, but I did buy an extra bundle. Um, and this is Kendra's boutique. Kendra's um, hair boutique. I actually had no complaints about this hair. I would highly recommend. This is the Brazilian body. Um, so it's not super wavy. This is about as wavy as it gets. Maybe a little curlier look a little wavier when it's wet but like not a super wave holds a curl really good no tangling like barely like normal shedding like I had a few pieces of hair but like not a lot of, even when I washed it I didn't even have enough to ball up into a little ball and throw in the trash yesterday after I washed the bundles when I took it out so I personally really 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 like this hair I do think my next install I'm going to try um Damn. yummy hair extensions just because people swear by it but like if there's no huge difference between that and this there is a difference in the price then I'm gonna come back to this because I have zero 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 complaints about it so anyway I picked up another 22 the longest in my hair um last time was a 24 but I figured I'd get a 22 because um I'm assuming the top pieces is what he would have to fill in um because we had you know some layering around the front so i'm gonna do a side part same hairstyle same length layers all that but i'm going to the side because i've had a middle part for two installs and you gotta give that middle a break i did a poll on instagram and on um tiktok where i was asking the girls what they think my next hairstyle was going to be based on um the last four installs that i've had since i've been or the last three installs that i've had since i've been going to blake which was the side part bob, the middle part bob, and then um, this middle part bust down. And I'm like, if y'all listen to me when I talk, then I know that y'all should know what's going to be next. So I said, um, am I getting another middle part? Am I getting a side part bust down? Am I going back to the bob or am I getting curtain bangs? And everybody was like curtain bangs, which I am going to get curtain bangs, but not this time. I'm going to get curtain bangs. Um, my next install is going to be right before I go to Barcelona. So I actually am going to get curtain bangs for that trip, but I'm getting the side part because my for curtain bangs, I need a middle part and I can't have three middle part installed in a row. So I'm going to save that for um, my trip to Barcelona because I'm going to get my hair done like the week before I go. Um, this is what was left from last time. So I have four bundles. They have like a bundle deal of like a 24, two 22s and a 20. And I think I paid right a little over 400 after tax and shipping for that. Um, so maybe like 420 or something like that. And this is what I had left of the four bundles after the first install. So now y'all can see why I bought, and I think this is 20. Now y'all can see why I bought another bundle because I just wasn't sure, um, how much of what I had from the top of my head he'd be able to reuse because it's some layers and some of that. He might have to get rid of that. And I don't think that this would be enough or I wasn't sure if this would be enough. So I just bought another bundle. Anyway, um, I was saying I'm going to get uh, my next install right before I go to Barcelona. And I'm going to do curtain bangs. And I'm going to try the Yummy Hair Extensions um, for that. So, that's the update on the hair. This is what I'm taking with me. And usually when I go, he washes the bundles. Because this isn't washed. This is just straight out the mail. So, then I'll just be like, hey, I washed this hair that I took out of my hair. I you yeah, know, you might want to hit it with some shampoo too because I don't know how well I did that. Anyway, I will catch y'all once this hair is slicked down. Um, 
and hopefully we're going to Nordstrom to pick up this top so then I can like start throwing stuff in a suitcase because I like to get packed pretty early I don't like to be waiting to the last minute and I need to look at my toiletries and see you know what I need to stop in Target to replenish replenish so on and so forth anyway it's seven o'clock I'm gonna keep this in at about for about another 15 minutes and then I'm gonna get my life this right here is for I just need Excuse me. This right here is for all the people that every time I say, oh, I done got a little big, I'm trying to lose a little weight, whatever the case may be, they're like, girl, please, I wish you ain't be. Let me show y'all something. Let me, sh let me show y'all something. <laughs> let me show y'all something. This is my shirt. You see that? That's, that's, that don't supposed to be there. But don't pay attention to that. This is my shirt. <laughs> This is my shirt under my cup. It done rolled. It done rolled up these whoops. We call these whoops. Right? It done rolled up this fat ass belly. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, I just got back from bar class. I'm looking like Tupac. A fat Tupac. Um, <laughs> I'm just getting back from bar class. Uh, oh, I need to wash my hands while I'm putting my hands all in my face. Um, that class was hard. This battery about to die. Anyway, uh, I am about to make some dinner. And then I'm off starting tomorrow. So tomorrow is hair day. I don't have an appointment until 12 o'clock. Nordstrom finally emailed me and said that my shirt was ready to pick up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up in the morning, probably like 6.30 work out and then get dressed and then um head to Nordstrom do my pickup and then pop on the train and go get my hair done and then um come home I need to straighten up make sure everything is in its place because I'll be gone through Monday and so that's you know four days can't leave no trash in the trash can to everything needs to be clean so when I come home I could just transition back into uh my work week so yeah i was just popping in to show y'all my shirt up to my titties because i got these whoops chill i can't take please please first things first i'm the realist <laughs> anyway first things first my hair is done i got my hair dead um the wind slapped me all over the place on the way home so the curls the curls the curls girl uh but look at all those layers he layered it to perfection oh i love blake so much oh my god anyway i went side part um because my middle was out two times in a row baby that's four months out so I went side part, I'm obsessed with it. I love it real bad. Like I love it real bad. I'm gonna put the little um, heatless curler in it tonight before I go to sleep to get my curls back. Uh, but I'm obsessed. Oh my God. I love a side part. Every time I get, I, I love a middle part when I get a middle part and then every time I get a side part, I love a side part too. I, I don't feel like I have a favorite. Anyway, um, also Blake is in my old neighborhood. So I went to the girl that used to thread my brows. Y'all know I get them done once every blue moon cause I don't got none. So I can't do too much to them. Um, but when they get as thick as they was, which for me, that was thick. Um, I could get a good cleanup on them. So, um, she hooked me up and then I came home and I tried to go get my nails done, but, uh, they were too busy. They couldn't do my nails, which is fine. I mean, they've grown up, but they not like terrible. But I did get them to take that because I still had gel polish on my toes from months ago when my toenail finally fell off. Um, like, not months ago, like two months ago. Um, and uh, was it too much, y'all? I'm probably over exaggerating. It probably went that long. When that toenail finally fell off, I had. Um, so it's probably been too much because when I got the gel on, she was like this is going to come off like before you come back this is coming off she was like it's hanging on so i'm like okay whatever and so it ended up so it's probably been a couple months honestly but anyway the gel on my toes had grown up like acrylic nails i was like i gotta get this off i'm not at the place where i can get a full pedicure yet like i don't even want to soak my feet in water that long i'm afraid and then the toe on my right foot got bruised up the toenail got bruised so it's like blood clots under the toenail on the right foot now um from the marathon so girl my feet is eh. 
thank God it's winter time um, or cold or fall and my toes will not be out this weekend or anytime soon for real. So I'm good. Um, but I also, I don't know. I'm, I think I might be in the market for another nail place. Cause I was like, I was looking online to see like, do when people get Gelix extensions, I'm like, do people get new sets every time they get Gelix, you know, get a, get their nails done or whatever. Or is there a way you don't have to get a new set every time? So I was like looking online and people get builder gel like as a fill in over Gelix nails. Um, so you could do that. So I was asking her when I was in there, I'm like, do y'all, she was like, no. I'm like, so you have to get a new set every time. And she was like, yeah. I'm like, mm -mm. I know somebody in the city that could do like a builder gel. Cause she was like, well, we don't do fills. I'm like, y'all do y'all do builder gel? She's like, no, we don't do builder gel. So you can either get a manicure in that bitch or you can get gel extensions. They don't do nothing else. I'm like, uh, -uh. I gotta find me another nail shop that, you know, keep up with the times and what's going on. Anyway, um, I need to finish packing. I started packing, um, but I need to finish. And I, I really need to see what I'm taking with me. Oh, I got the shirt. I picked up my shirt from Nordstrom. Don't mind my bed, don't mind it. I'm gonna put the sheets. Actually, I'm gonna put some new sheets on there. I'm not even gonna, um, I'm not even gonna wash those. <laughs> my video um blurry like that oh okay i was about to say don't play with me <laughs> i think somebody just sub posted me on um instagram like not in a bad way it's a boy Okay, anyway, back to what we were talking about. Um, I was trying to see if TikTok removed the sound off of my video I just posted because I inserted some audio, like some screen recorded audio in it because they need to get up with the times. You need to one, put the whole song on the app. You need to put the whole song on the app so people can choose the part of the song that they want. TikTok still does not do that. They still will put one minute of the worst part of a song on the app. <sighs> Put the whole song on the app and let people choose what they want to choose out of the song. And then two, you can't like split the song up and put it in different parts of the video. Like you can't split the song, right? I hate that. So a lot of the times when I want to use two parts of the same song or like whatever, I have to use like screen recorded audio and they be taking that shit down sometimes. So that's what I'm saying. Anyway, I picked up the shirt from Nordstrom. Um, let's try that on and then I'll pull a bunch of stuff out of my closet and then I'll come back and we'll sort of look at what I'm going to put in the suitcase. I just, the vlog right now is already an hour and 20 minutes long. I don't want it to be too much longer than what it is, but this goes into that vlog and then I'm gonna like upload it to go up tomorrow. So anyway, let, let me grab the shirt. <laughs> let me grab the shirt. I did sprints this morning. My leg is hurting. It's hurting. Uh, I stopped at Nordstrom before I got on the train and headed um, down to get my hair done. So this is the top, that mango top um, that I purchased. It's a large, it don't look large. And also, girl, why I walk out of Nordstrom after I pick this up? And I get the beeping. So I opens the package like, hey, is it a, like a mat? Like, what's going on? Is this like a, a um, sensor or something in there? They're like, nah, ain't no sensor in there. And then one girl worked out. She was like, actually it is. She was like, Mango has sensors in all of their clothes. They have it for their store. And when they send it to us, they, it's like built in. So these tags here, there is a tag. They cut it off for me, but there's a tag. And inside the tag is a um, sensor disguised inside the tag. So if you don't know, um, that that's how Mango disguises like their um, sensors for theft. Your ass is grass. It's grass. Cause I was like, and the girl, the other girl that worked up was like, girl, I never knew that. And she was like, yeah, they do that in all of their like storefronts. So it's hard if you don't know that and you go your ass in Mango stealing, you is scout. Cause they got a little hidden sensor in the tag in the shirt. I was like, that is crazy. Anyway, I got it in a large and it looks kind of small. Let me try it on. I think it's cute. It actually fits. The sleeves could be a little longer let me see this is cute we like it yeah we like it now what am i gonna wear it with is the question but it's cute let's see tucked in that looks really cute i wish these sleeves were a little longer 
but we can work with it. Okay, that's so cute. I need some tops real bad. So I really like this. Okay, let me pull some stuff out of my closet and then I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Okay, so let's talk packing strategy really quickly. So this is the vest that I got from Koss the other day. So I'm saying how many different ways I can wear this vest and I probably will wear it more than one time just depends on how i'm feeling for the weekend so i have this pair of like um off-white denim not off-white the brand but like the color off-white um i'm moving y'all up by ray ray e. i don't know if y'all remember when i bought these i don't feel like y'all can see my feet um now my wall is in a way i have got to find that freaking um tripod hold on y'all sorry Hopefully I ain't show y'all no boob. Jesus Christ. Of Latter-day Saints. Anyway, so this is the vest. And then I paired it like as a casual outfit with um, my tabby. So I'm going to take my tabby ballet flats. So I paired them with that. So that'll be one look. But... It'll have this crop. So it'll be this crop Jacquemus top. Hold on. Make sure I'm not showing y'all no boob. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So it'll be this kind of situation. Hold on. It'll be a cropped belly situation with the vest. So that is one alternative. A second alternative is this pair of faux leather leggings with a bra, more like dressed up. So with like a sexy black bra, this faux leather legging, and then I'm taking my little acne boot. Let me just try it on. But before I try that vest outfit on, I also wanted to see if I like this together. Um, I don't know, it's giving too literal maybe. Let me button it, button one up. Cause I can do this tuck into the white denim. And then I'm taking my black acne mule and I can do it with the mule. I don't know if I, hold on. Yeah, this is gonna be a no for me, but I am going to take the white denim cause I think it would be a cute option for these and then I'll have other tops, like I am taking this, which I know would look cute with the white. Let me try it on. I gotta cover my nips. Okay, yeah, so this would be a cute, even with the tabbies, I could just keep the tabbies on. And that's another cute, like casual daytime. These is one pair of jeans that I have that's still sort of loose on me, so they fit a little baggy. I think that's super cute. And I have my little, small circle um boy this bag that i think will be cute crossbody with this okay so that's two tops that i can wear with the white jeans so the white jeans are going yeah okay let me show y'all what i was talking about for the vest really quickly okay the vest is back on put on these leggings baby can i even fit these y'all know i'm thicker than a snicker right now Woo! hold on Oh, I love my hair. Oh, make sure y'all ain't see no boob. Hold on, I'll be back. Girl, they barely get up this caboose. Stickums. So I think I'll take I'll take this bra with like this little triangle detail here like that. This will be like a nighttime outfit. And then for the shoe, I'll do this acne boot. We're doing um, arts, beats, and lyrics. This would be cute for that. So I might wear this actually tomorrow night. We're going to art, beats, and lyrics. So I think this is a cute like low key like semi not like not casual but sort of casual hold on let me lower it a little bit so y'all can get the 
gist of what I'm talking about. So this is the boot. That look cute. Let me look at it in my big mirror. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm for sure feeling that. So that's two options for the vest. So I think I'm done trying stuff on. Everything else, I sort of got a gist for what, look, what it looks like. So of course I'm taking that skirt that I bought from Koss and I'm going to recreate one of my, this one. I'm going to recreate probably one of the my most favorite outfits um, that I've worn in the last two years. I'm going to wear this with this turtleneck that I picked up last week. Um, from Nordstrom and then I'm going to wear this with I'm going to wear it with this tall black shoots leather boot and then because it's going to be at night and I know it's going to be chilly I'm taking my black leather jacket I'm going to take that brown one too since that one is like bigger and oversized I'm going to take this instead of like my acne one which is also oversized so I'm going to take this and I'm going to wear this as a going out outfit so this is a second like night of going out outfit option it's finally like cool enough outside to open your window. So like now you hear all of the Chicago traffic um, in the background. Hold on, where is it? Where? Where is it? Where is it? Calm down out there. This outfit, like it's still my um, profile picture on TikTok and I think on Instagram too, because I just love this outfit. That black skirt is Massimo Duty, and then I have on a turtleneck. Um, that's Norma Kamali that I have that jacket on. I put my little Givenchy bag in uh, my suitcase and then I had on my tabbies, but I'm gonna wear those black tall boots instead. So sort of slightly different, but this is literally one of my favorite outfits. This is like, if I had to choose one like outfit that I've worn in the last, I don't know, five years, that is just like very much Angela, this would be it. So that's the one that I'm recreating. So now I have my trusty dusties because y'all know they go in my Morgilla slit jeans. Um, and I'm going to take this little cropped helmet laying cardigan. I'm probably going to wear this on the plane tomorrow too. Um, helmet laying cardigan. I'm going to just wear it with like a basic white Hanes t-shirt. I like threw this on, this, this, and a basic white Hanes t-shirt in my um, Goldie Goose, but I'm not taking those. Um, I'm taking my Margiela replicas, so I'm just gonna throw those on with it. But it was so cute, and I was like, oh my god, I have a brunch on Sunday, um, and I'm just going to throw this on, on for brunch. It's not homecoming related. It's not homecoming related. I'm actually meeting um, somebody that uh, I follow. We follow each other on TikTok for brunch. So I was like, oh, that'll be a cute, like, casual brunch outfit. To wear but i'm also uh packing this gauche um what is it gauche 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 81 gauche 81 i know it's pronounced gauche because i looked it up like how to pronounce it gauche 81 bodysuit it's just like a turtleneck i love a turtleneck obviously um with the full back out because i thought that it'd be cute with the margiela slit jeans too if i decide that i want to you know dress up in a different way and I'm taking my acne mules and I thought that would be cute with this um, and then I think I'm also going to grab I just grab this uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier t-shirt to throw on um, for another casual look if I need to with the um, Margiela slip jeans and then the replica sneakers and then that brown leather jacket I think that would be cute too so plenty of options for these and that's pretty much it. I'm going to take this top. I don't really have a plan for it right now. It could go with anything of those bottoms that I have in there, uh, with the exception of those white ones because I didn't too much like how that looks. But I'll just take this as an extra top as a just in case. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm packing. That's all I'm packing. Um, so I'll probably just throw on anything. I probably won't have on a super substantial, like a super significant airport outfit tomorrow. Um, I just, I need to wear my replica sneakers because they won't fit. I got enough shoes in the, um, suitcase. And, um, yeah. So anyway, that's, that's what I'm packing. I'm going to get all of that situated and ready for my suitcase. And I'll go ahead and wrap the vlog up here. I'm going to take my camera with me and try to proper vlog, but I ain't going to make no promises because y'all know how I get. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. 
I appreciate y'all. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you're following across all platforms. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe on here. Um, I appreciate all of the support. Um, I've seen an uptick in views and stuff on YouTube. Not like thousands and thousands, but like a couple thousand, which is a lot more than I was getting even a couple months ago. So I really appreciate the support. Um, thank you all so much. And I will talk to y'all in the next video. I'm going to get this edited and upload it. Bye.